Now let's look at the venture capital method for one round of financing and also two rounds of financing. So under this venture capital method, you may be asked to calculate the post money valuation or the pre money valuation or the percentage ownership of the venture capital or the number of shares held by the venture capital or you can be even be asked to calculate what is the price per share that is held by the venture capitalists. So let's look at this example where Wiz Plus is a young startup company and the founders estimate that they will be able to sell the company for $80 million in six years time. So at this time, they will need to be able to raise $10 million. Okay, so they will need an investment of $10 million today. So MGL Ventures is a venture capitalist and that is considering this business and wants to apply a discount rate of 30%. So the founders of Wiz Plus owns uh, 2 million shares at this moment. So what we may be asked, uh, you, you may be asked is to calculate the post money valuation. So to calculate the post money valuation, you will have to find the PV of this exit value of $80 million. So that will give you the post money valuation. So the post money valuation is the PV of this exit value. And we'll discount this using 30% and for six years. Right, so let's count. So using this, uh, eighty million is your FV. Okay, uh, then it's for six years N, and then thirty percent as IY, and then zero is PMT. Then we compute PV. So that's about sixteen point five seven four one. Now, then, if you ask, if you're calculating the pre-money valuation, then you take the post-money valuation minus the investment. So which means that before the investment of 10 million went in, the company is only worth 6.5741 million. Right, now if you're calculating the percentage ownership held by the VC at this moment, so after putting in 10 million into the company, Wish Plus, and the company is now worth uh, 10, uh, 16, 0.5741 million after the first round of financing. So in this case, the VC will hold 10 divided by 16.5741. So that's about 60.34%. So the VC will hold 60.34% of the shares in the company and the founder, the founders will hold the remaining amount. There's 0, 1 minus 0 0.6034. So that'll be equal 1 minus uh, 0 0.6034 so that will give us 0 0.3966 okay which is 39.66 percent now if you're calculating the number of shares held by the vc so if you calculate this on a proportionate basis okay the founders okay currently own 39.66 percent of the company and that's about 2 million shares in total and for the vc they are holding 60.34 percent of the company so in this case, how many shares would they get? So here N is equals to 60.34% divided by 39.66% times 2 million. So that will be equals to 60.34 divided by 39.66 times 2 million. So that's about 3,042,864. So what's the price paid per share? What's the, or what is the price per share for these shares owned by the VC? So the price paid per share by MGL will be the amount that they have invested, which is $10 million, divided by the number of shares that they obtained, which is 3,042,864 shares. So that will be equals to $3.29. So of course, uh, at the first round, it, the share price, the price per share is always lower. But as the company becomes more valuable, the share price will, the price per share will also increase in the second and third rounds of financing. So in the next part of the video, we'll look at uh, the venture capital method, but with two rounds of financing.